Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about Dying Light 2 Zombies. So since Dying Light 2 got announced at E3 2018, everyone's been talking about the trailer and the gameplay on how there is no footage and literally no gameplay for a zombie. Like all we saw is the decision making, the choices and everything and all the human part, but we never actually got to see the zombie. I mean, we did see a quick flash of the zombies, but that was not what we actually expect from Dying Light. So today in this video, we are going to be talking about the zombies that are going to be in Dying Light 2. And yes, the information is going to be 100% correct. The link will be in the description for the original video where the developer, the lead designer at Techland, Timons McDala, is going to be talking about the same thing. So now first thing you will ask yourself is what kind of zombies are we going to get in Dying Light 2? So if you have played the first game, you might have come across a lot of zombies. Some of them you already knew from the other games, but some of them were new, which is the Volatile I'm talking about. Volatile was created by Techland. Techland created Volatiles. And to be honest, that was one of the scariest zombies you would come across during the night time. So a walker was in Dying Light, a biter, a viral, a volatile, goon, demolisher, toad, screamers, and even a night hunter. But remember this, we are not sure about the night hunter since it's completely different. We don't see night hunters in the game, but we do have a different option like be the zombie and a completely different theory for Kyle Crane being the night hunter and all stuff. But we're not sure about the night hunter, but yeah, walkers, biters, virals, volatiles, and rest all the zombies I mentioned except for the night hunter are going to be in Dying Light 2 as well. They are going to be making a comeback in Dying Light 2. So you're not going to miss any of these zombies. You know, the walkers are those guys who are like the slowest zombie and they kind of hit you with the hand. A slow hit, but it does damage. Biters, on the other hand, don't hit you, but they do grab you. They are slow and they grab you and, you know, you have to resist it, otherwise you're going to die. The third zombie here we have is a viral and that's one of the annoying zombies just because if they come in a group you are going to be die unless you really have a good weapon that can slice kill them easily but most of the time they overpower you because they come in a group. The next one is volatiles they show up during the night time they cannot be seen during the daytime since the skin kind of burn and can, it makes a lot of sense to have volatiles in dying light too since we have this day and night cycle in Dying Light 2, day for human and night for zombies. So you might see a lot of volatiles and a lot of night walkers to be honest with you. Since we actually saw the gameplay of one zombie jumping on the main character. We saw that in I think the teaser itself. At the end when Chris Avalon says by the way this is all what happens during the day. During the night things turn to be a bit more darker and all stuff. When he says that you see this zombie jumping on the main character. That zombie is actually a night walker. It's not a volatile or a walker or a biter. It's a night walker. You call that's a different term. Zombies that actually show up during the night time and they kind of act like a viral. So they are viral as well as a biter and they jump like a volatile. So yes, they are not volatiles but they are night walkers and have kind of same skills I would say. Plus we have a goon, the guy with the rebar, he's the most annoying zombie to be honest with you. In order to kill him, it's kind of easy now because since I've played the game for like more than 3 years, so it's easy for me to kill him, but previously it was so difficult since he used to smack you all the time. Then comes the demolisher, demolisher uh, has actually been in a lot of different games as well, and uh, even in, in Dead Island made by Techland themselves. So demolisher was there, it was called I think the Tug, um, and it is in Dying Light. and. I would love to see this in Dying Light 2, it's just I'm not sure if they will show up during the night or just in the day. Uh, because, you know, Demolisher don't show up during the night in Dying Light itself. So we're not sure how Demolisher is going to be here. And the Toad can be also there in Dying Light 2. Let's talk about these zombies. You're not just going to see the similar zombies in Dying Light 2. These are going to be mutated zombies. They will kind of be mutated, you know, but they will look different. They will have a similar but a little bit more different skill at the same time. So that's how they actually become mutated, you know, you know, it's been 15 years, so they have to change. And plus, Timon also talked about some of the special zombies that are going to be coming in Dying Light 2. Now, we don't know what are the special zombies, but I'm sure it's going to be something, something like a volatile. I would love to see a new zombie show up in Dying Light 2. And they have literally confirmed that there will be some new surprises 
as zombies. We'll see them in Dying Light 2. It's just we don't know what kind of zombies are going to be there. It might be their own idea or something, just like a volatile. You know how they created a volatile? They might create another amazing zombie in Dying Light 2. So yes, there are zombies in Dying Light 2, guys. Don't get confused. I've made videos on this so many times. I'm telling you guys, there are zombies in Dying Light 2. So please don't comment saying we hate this game since there is no zombies. Well, there is zombies. You also have a human side as well. So humans plus zombies. And you're going to love it. Trust me. So guys, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. And tell me what are zombies you want to see in Dying Light 2. And if you had a chance to make your own zombie, what would that be? Explain that. Imagine it. And let me know in the comment section. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.